let's make a deal. If you can't make this team, you gotta subscribe and you gotta like this video. You have to. Otherwise, potatoes. You who what's up guys? New video, another raid one. I recently pulled the Debora, and with the Bora you can make faster teams than with my Liam and shit. Too bad couldn't still make that Liam on a hundred percent. AI thing which was kind of bad actually and while well, it was not necessarily bad it was just more difficult to make stuff work however this team is very different um, I took it from a or copied it from a, a Japanese guy I will link him in the description down below as well also with his original team he has a slightly different things for some of the skins he literally has like four skins different than I do right now my team does work. I would need some more damage to make it 100%, I think. But some of those skins might help. So a few things that would help for skins I will mention. And a few things that I think are important for skins I will mention as well. But he has like four more than I do. And I don't think all of them are needed. So yeah, difference with this team is it's fully based on Bale doing as much damage with the Bora as possible. The team on the left is just providing a little bit extra damage and armor break. Team on the middle is not doing any armor breaks whatsoever. Team on the right is doing all of the armor breaks pretty much except for the Jilton one. So if we let it run, it's going to run like 22.7 as fastest. And it can sometimes run 24 seconds. The difference between that is if the Konamiya boosts the bail before the jump. And the difference between that it literally depends on which hat is attacking at which moment. So in this case, the heads were attacking with different skills because they can do the spray, they can do the headbutt. And one of those rotations, Konaminas actually has to do um, that stuff differently. So therefore, it's just slightly different in differently and different. Whatever, you get what I mean. Then you get a 24 second because the Konaminas actually has to do the attack buff still. And then the bail moves and it just waits like about two seconds, one to two seconds. So let's see if we can get a rotation where that happens. I'll also put it on the damage so you can see how much th this is like the big bail show. That's that's pretty much the only thing. So in this case, you actually did saw that the Konamina did do the S2. It's an S2? Yeah, that's an S2. On the bail and therefore you go into this stage. You have to team up on the left side, team up on the right side and then boop, insta killer. So that is pretty much the difference between those two. Uh, for the hats, whatever they do, but let's go over the um, matches individually. I'm not really sure why this is a 25 second right now. Probably something went wrong somewhere. It's kind of strange. Should, that should be a 22 if the Konamina did it before. But maybe that there was something going slower. I do actually miss a slightly bit of damage. Preferably your bail actually does about 80k damage. So 79 point something to 80k. It also depends, of course, on how much damage your Odin does. But I would say 80k damage is safe. And that is not easy to get. So I, you can make it work with 77 and a good Odin. But it's it's tricky. It's very, very tricky. So, okay, that's why we had the 22.8. So let's go over the teams. What are the rotations? How often do they hit? How often do they move? So middle team, we have the calling moving and after the calling, we right away have the bail moving. Normally you have not, uh, any kind of armor breaker in there in between. In this team, it's straight up calling bail. Let's go. Next one is the economia and afterwards it's the uh, bail going again. Then we have in the front line, of course, we have the Bora. We have this thing as an, on as low stats as possible. Preferably you actually have one that is as low HP as possible, so it actually insta dies. I think that is actually better. Is it better? Doesn't matter all too much, I guess. No, it doesn't matter. No, wait, it does actually matter, because if the Zyros doesn't die from spray, which doesn't happen in my case, then he's going to do the animation over there, which is not what you prefer to see. So I actually would have to make a... Uh, Zyros or a Elsharion or anything else that is one star um, or that is five star level one and that would make this team better than is right now. So I'm actually going to save up those coins to get an Elsharion just for this team pretty much. So that is something that I'm missing right now. And then we have the Robo. You might ask why not use the Garo or the other thing. Well, they are on the side teams as well. So therefore they don't use that. Uh, is this Bale on this pair? 
I'm not even going to answer that question right now. <laughs> okay. Um, team on the left. We have this unit dying. Some people say you have to put will on it, but if it sprays, it's very low on how much damage it reflects anyway. So, and it only, the moment it puts the, um, you can actually make this 100% rest and then you don't really need the, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, the, the, the will runes. I don't really think the will runes add too much on that thing. Then, going back to the left team again, and this is actually difficult to showcase any teams. Okay, we have the unit that dies. We have the Jolton that moves first. Jolton actually is only for armor breaking. We have the Odin that moves without attack buff, but that is actually fine. And then afterwards, the only thing that happens on this whole team is that we have a team up. So with that team up, we insta-kill, or it's supposed to insta-kill. And I didn't get a single armor break there for some what reason. What the fuck was that? Well, good thing the bail was hitting late. But yeah, therefore you have the right team that is like more... Um, more armor break potential and the bail s3 has a kind of like a slightly charge up and then it moves so the right team is actually kind of weird it's more or less like a stall kind of thing with a lot of backup potential for uh putting debuffs mainly armor break so it is lauren moving immensity moving immensity boosting up the lauren and then uh um, sabrina actually moves then next Laura moves and then uh, Shino would move. So there's a lot of like backup values. As long as you kill the first phase, the right team should be able to clear things even if things go slightly wrong. That's the main case. But in most cases, what would happen is Lauren moves, Immensity moves, um, Sabrina moves and you're already done. So Shina doesn't even move only on the team up. The Gora is there just for stall. Immensity is kind of a stall as well, more or less. And then it's just the team moving. Of course, Theo Mars triple fighter, and it's as simple as that. So from that, we go into the, uh, the runes. The thing with the runes on this team, it's very different than runes on other teams. Because it's just literally two, two very strong rage sets. And the rest is all just a bunch of fights and a bunch of wills and a bunch of whatevers. I really do need to drag this down to lower times. I really need that Zyros to be level one. That's that's really what's slowing me down right now on this whole team. Otherwise, this team would be a lot faster. And I think we have one more run, and then we did a run of ten, and we can sell everything because we never get anything useful. Never lucky. Okay. Besides that, then I will show the runes from what you have. Um. You don't want any other animations happening, so you don't want to put a striker in there or anything. That's the thing. This team is so specifically tuned that you don't get, you cannot take anything that moves in between after, before, or whatever. Well, after doesn't really matter, but that's why you get these kind of times. And the best thing is if my Zyros dies to the headbutt, it's a lot faster. Because therefore I don't get slight desyncs, and that makes me get 24 seconds. I would get close to 23 low, so 23 below uh, 5, if I had a unit which was 33 lead. But I, can't, I was trying to put a 25 lead with a uh, triple fight in it. And that's why I kind of lack damage sometimes. So that's also not really recommended. So to go over the runes, we start from the left. We have a triple fighter, as mentioned. Then we have a double fighter will. We have another triple fighter. We have a double fighter will. I am not too sure if I should focus on more HP or more attack. Because S2 is more damage on HP. S1 is more damage on attack. So I don't know. Mine also doesn't have max skills, I don't even think. Uh, maybe more HP is actually more beneficial because you counter more on the reflect? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, let me know in the comments what you think is better for Jilton Bolt, but it doesn't matter all too much. Then we have the Rogue Bolt, which is a double fighter will as well. And then we have the Strong Bolts, we have Odin. So Odin is on a plus 2.2k and a 250. Odin only needs 61 uh, crit rate. And might you say, oh, you don't have all skill ups. The last two skill ups are just for a uh, better chance of stripping, so I don't care. Artifacts wise, I'm doing crit damage uh, good, crit damage bad, and on target crit damage. 
on that and the left side I have crit damage, crit damage, pretty much face, uh, focus on that. And then a little bit of this is not bad too. So the Odin I would say pretty decent set. Keep in mind I do not farm um, Ancient Rage, I don't farm that much Necro. So I don't have the best Rage runes. But these are still two pretty sick sets. The Odin has a good set, Bale has a pretty sick set, which we'll get to in a second. So then we have the Robo thing, it's just a double fighter will. We have the Zyros, which is a triple fighter with as low HP as possible, but I kind of need a level 1 Zyros 5 star. Uh, the Bora is a double fighter will with just tanky enough to survive, doesn't really matter. We have the Colleen, typical Colleen that works for these kind of things. We have the Garuda, which is one speed below the Bale. And then we have the Bale, which is the sick unit of this whole team. So we have a 275 and still a 2.2k attack. And you need to be tanky enough to survive, but actually Bale gets uh, healed by Colleen. So a little bit less tanky than this is already enough. But this has some pretty sick runes, I guess, to make this work. So if you can replicate a Bale like this or make a Bale better than this, and you have the Bora, then you can start thinking about building this team. If not, don't recommend to build this team. So people that happen to have one or two very good, mainly two very good rage sets with Will, they can relatively easy make this set. You don't need a lot of rune depth with this. You, okay, you need fight rune depth. But just that's just more or less having fights rather than having very good fights. Um, then we go on to the Shina. Shina is a fatal will set. You don't need that much crit rate. You actually need uh, 46 crit rate because you actually get the buff from this unit as well. Do you need that much stats on Shina? No, not really. Not really. It's not really that important. It's more for armor breaks than anything. And also the accuracy, you have the Shina passive and therefore you get enough accuracy to, to make it work anyways. So we also have this. This one, they actually mentioned, someone that recreated this team actually mentioned that it's very good to have Sabrina at a plus 44 speed, a Lauren at a plus 46 speed, and also the immensity at a plus 46 speed. It was just better that way, so I just... I took it over, I didn't really check anything else, I just took it over, as simple as that. Lauren is also a good damage dealer because it actually does some fluff damage before it moves. This one actually has a good fight set, but if you have a better bell, you don't need this much of a fight set on uh, the Lauren. And mine is actually additional damage from attack kind of stuff. I'm not sure if it's better to go crit damage, I don't even think so. Then we have another double fighter will, we have a double fighter will and the stats on this, it just has to survive, put a crit damage and attack on it, but it doesn't even matter. And then we have a triple fighter on this. So then for skins, which is very important as well, one skin you need 100% is the Colleen uh, Penguin. Colleen Penguin S3 is so much faster than normal Colleen, so that is an absolute must. Bale has to have no skin. I actually had Bale on skin and that desynced shit. Pretty much. Um, then there's a few more skins that the uh, Japanese guy is using. And I think the Lauren skin of the Space uh, Cowgirl, I think is recommended. But I don't have it right now. But I do, that's my next one to buy. Because I think that one is actually faster. Um... Then he has a few more skins besides that. I'm not sure which twin skins he has, but twin skins don't really matter because they don't really move before the bus, uh, before the buff. Buff, nay, boss, that thing, yes. Then we also have Jolton. He has Jolton on skin. I don't really think it's needed. It could be useful, but I don't really think so. And he has Odin on skin. And then Odin with the third skin. So the newest skin, the one with the, the Seeker something. Odin skin might be usable, useful too, and he actually has Rogue no skin, and I have Rogue with skin. I'm not really sure if that changes too much. I could try to put Rogue uh, no skin and see if that makes any difference. But it's kind of flicking things on and off if you have those skins already, yes or no, that's, that's pretty much the thing. But I am tempted to buy the Cowgirl skin... Um, on this one, I'm not 100% sure if it's needed. The only one I really know that's needed is the Colleen. And Odin having no skin. So, um, you cannot replace anything in this team. You can replace leaders with other specific same leaders. Or lower of the same leaders if you have too much enough damage. But this team is that specific, you cannot change anything. 
like maximum thinking what could you change no pretty much nothing you cannot even put a miriam in the odin team because there's no attack buff for example you could arguably say you replace the jolton with a fran but therefore you have a lot less potential of armor breaking and i see the team failing more like that so there's no armor break or no attack buff in this team so i don't know uh, why the Gora? The Gora, the right team is pretty much a stall team. So I think if there's any potential to change anything, it's on the right team. But the right team is more or less just a stall team. So it's a stall team and an armor break team to have armor breaks at the perfect moment. That's the main thing about the team. It's not about dealing damage. It's not about anything else. Um, so Zyros, any 33 lead we do. Um, so you can get an Elsharian. Elsharian is actually better. Uh, no, you don't want you don't want anything to move in between before and after. Well, that doesn't count. But you don't want anything to move in between. But you can see how much damage the Bale Lyri does. He does like 80% damage of the whole team. So it's pretty much the big Bale show. That's that's all there is to it. If you have one crazy rage set and one okay is next set, then you can make this. But trust me, the Bale set, I which I can show you the individual runes to just get like a grasp of what kind of set it is. Um, the slot 1 is crazy good, so we're looking at a near max perfect rune with 1 speed off, pretty much. Uh, this one is pretty sick because it still has attack in there for flat and these kind of things, that's pretty nice. This one is relatively mediocre. This one doesn't do too much, it's just adding a bunch of extra HP, but this one is kind of mediocre. This one is a close to max hero, which is pretty nice because it also has a 40 plus a 30. This could be 21, this could be 6, but near to max hero for that slot. Uh, this one is again one of those rather mediocre slots. It has some crit damage, it has some flat uh, attack, and adding some of the defense that you might need. And then this one is also mainly crit damage, bit of flat attack, bit of extra attack. Nothing too crazy as well. So I would say slot 1, slot 4 is pretty sick, the slot 2 is pretty sick, and then the other slots are kind of more okay-ish. So that's the kind of build you're looking at to build. Artifact-wise, I do uh, attack increasing effect, uh, additional damage from attack, and crit damage skill 3, and then crit damage good. Because crit damage good is more important the moment you kill the first phase, the Shina, Marti or the Shina Sabrina can uh, kill the second phase easier anyways. So that's mainly what I focus for in here. And it's not necessarily that one is really better than the other. The best is to have a combination of everything on the highest efficiency of like... It's pretty much just saying, okay, 8 plus 14 plus 7. Okay, then that's my number I would compare to something else that's maybe a 28 plus a 4 or something. So that's kind of what you're looking at. But you can actually calculate those in the optimizer as well if you would like. So yeah, that's pretty much this for the whole team. Let's see if it's still running. Let's see what kind of times we have been getting. So we got the 24, 24, 22, 22, 24, 22, 23. And I think mainly the 24s are because Zyros didn't die in the first hit. So that's the main thing I have to fix. And I'll probably get an Elsharian at some point that I can uh, put that shit to. Or I summon another anything that's a 33 lead. Could be a Water Monkey, could be... A Zyros could be a Fire Striker, and that's about it. You could say I want to use a 25 lead, so you could use for a uh, Water Rakshasa and a bunch of other units, but you are losing those 8% uh, stuff. Poseidon as well is also 33, true. But yeah, if you go 28 lead, you need like that extra damage on your bail, extra damage on the Odin, so that makes it not that easy to go for, so yeah. That is pretty much that for this video. And thank you for watching and see you later. We have a Seth with a 30 fire. I already have a 50 fire, so that doesn't count. The 50 fire you can actually replace by Shihua, which is a 40 fire. Which then you'll lose another 10. Liam is also 33. Correct. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this team. To be honest, this is probably even more crazy than to make than the other teams but the other teams i had had a lot more rune depth needed rather than very high rune quality on one set so therefore i would arguably say that this team is easier to make if you happen to be farming ancient rage runes 
or you happen to have one or two like very good rage runes, uh, just random luck, because you don't need rune depth for this. This is very specific runes. Anyhow, rambling on, video already too long. Guys, thanks for watching, and see you later.